Hey guys, I have another video for you. On Windows 10, you know that there's many different ways that you can customize your lock screen, your personalizations, add or removing programs, devices, and stuff like that, date and time. And you can just feature here in the settings. There's also the control panel, if you type that in, that has the exact same thing that you can do, but has a lot more advanced features for settings that are going to be done too. But what happens if you want it to be disabled? Most of the times they want it to be disabled for educational use at schools, or else if you want a business that uses settings on there and you want it to be restricted, that way no one can change those settings. On well, this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do that. Now the first one I'll show you is in registry, and I'm also gonna be showing you how you can do this in GP edit. Um, Registry will, policy would work on any different version from Windows 10 to Windows 10 Pro to Enterprise to Education. Now the one on Group Policy Editor, um, you'll only be able to do this on a Pro um, Windows 10 Enterprise or Education Edition. So let's go ahead and start on the Registry one. To do this, you are going to have to have administrator for this policy to work. So go ahead and go to Start. Type in rake edit and you'll be prompt for this to run. Go ahead and press yes. And this is what you should see. If you have any of these open or something like that, just be sure you close them and come up to the same location. Next, you're going to be going to um, control to H key current user. This policy that I'm going to first show you will only work for the current user that I'm on right now. I'm also going to show you how you can do this on all users by going into H key underscore local machine folder right here. So for the first one, you would just go to here and you'll go to software, then you'll go to Microsoft, then you'll go to Windows, then current versions. I'm going to go ahead and slide this over because we can't see. Then I'll scroll all the way down until you see policies, then a folder named Explore. Now as you see, we don't see anything of the policies that's showing here because you know drive type auto run, that's basically just on there. But we're going to have to create a new one with a D word, and we're going to name this file No Control Panel. Now, this policy I just typed in is currently disabled on this feature. Note nothing will happen by going into the control panel. And I'm going to go ahead and show you right now again, just to be sure we have access to it right now. Now, we're going to change this value to 1. This is what you're going to have to do. And now, this policy is being active. Now to be sure, I know that if I currently open it right now, I'm going to open control panel, it's giving me access right now. You would probably need to restart your computer for this to work. I'm just going to restart the Windows Explorer right here. And this will basically do the exact same steps when you're going to restart the computer. And let's go ahead and try and go to control panel right now. And we are being restricted. Let me see if I can get into settings. And it's not letting me get through there. Now this probably has already been set. This is how you would do it. I'm going to show you how you can do it under the all users accounts that everyone will be restricted. You can go to the local machine, then to software, then to Microsoft, then you'll scroll down all the way to Windows, and you go to current version. It's basically going to the exact same locations but in a different folder. Current versions, then you're going to go to policies, then explore. And you would have to do the same steps by creating a new D word and you'll name it no control panel and you will set the value to one. And as you notice we are technically already have the stuff restricted. We don't have access to the control panel or we don't have access to the settings right now. And this is how it would be set. Now to remove this policy you have this option for changing this value to zero or you have the options to delete it. Either one wouldn't. It basically comes out either option that you want to do. It's just your choice. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up on the current user one to show you on this one. And go to the same locations that I showed you from before. And we're gonna to go to policies. And just for this trick right here, I'm actually just not gonna delete this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and change this value to zero just to show you how this policy works. And let's go ahead and give it a try. By default, I know it's probably going to still be restricted 
because you usually do need to restart the computer for this policy to work. So I'm going to restart my Explorer right here. And let's see what it does. I'm going to type in Control Panel. And we have access to it again. And that's the first step through registry. Now the second one that I'm going to be showing you is to do this in GP Edit. Now this one, um, remember you had to only be available for Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education Editions. Now to do this, you will need to go to Start and type in GP Edit and go ahead and click it. And you could be prompt for this to come up. Uh, let's give it a little bit of time. If not, then just continue. And here's the files right here. As you see, there's a folder for user configurations and there's computer configurations. Um, the one for the user would only apply for that one user. And you understand that the computer configurations will work on all users. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the location. You're going to go to user configurations and you're going to go to administrative templates and then you're going to go to control panel and then you should see when that says prohibit access to control and PC settings. You're simply just going to click the file and here it is and you will enable this feature right here if I'm correctly to prohibit them from changing that. So right now let's go ahead and see if we can have access to it. Let me go to control panel and it's already restricted that quick. Uh, let me see if I have access to, um, to settings and no. I'm going to check real quick just to be sure if the same policy will work on all the users real quick. And no, that same policy would only apply right here on users that would happen to everyone by putting this policy. Now, if you want to turn this off, it's very simple. You would just simply, by have the options for no configured, just leaving it like that, just not configured at all, or you can disable it. That would basically mean the exact same thing. I'm going to leave it as not configured and press apply. And we should be done using this system on the group policy editor. So I'm going to go ahead and access out. Let's see, we have access to the control panel. And it seems that we do. Let's see, we have access to the settings. And there we have it. Thank you for watching from Hilton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on our next video.